I was the one who found my father. I tried to save him. Man, please, you called 911 to make us believe you were trying to save your father. I went into his bedroom to say hello, like always. Yeah? He didn't respond. He wasn't breathing. Well, unfortunately for you, you were there by yourself. No witnesses. It was already too late. He'd been murdered. Yasmin got an alibi. You don't. Why would I kill my father? To keep control of the family business, which was failing, thanks to you. You were scared that Yasmin was going to get the company. My father would never have done that. I am his son! Yo, Lenny, what you got? Oh, yeah? Fantastic. You got the murder weapon. Good. Well, maybe now you'll find whoever killed my father. Maybe we already have. Here's your murder weapon. Pillow contains goose down and DNA from the victim, saliva. So he was a drooler? Well, apparently, only when being smothered. It's the only pillow in the house with traces of his saliva. You found that in his bedroom? His daughter's. Any trace evidence? Got a hair. It's a woman's, dyed with a gray root. If it's got a root, we can get DNA, see if it matches the one we found on the body. You know what, I'm gonna call the loose, see if she wants to handle this herself. It is disrespectful, she's sitting shiva. Sir. It's important to our investigation. Can't it wait? She's been through a lot. We both have. Asha, it's all right. I'll talk to her. Come, please sit down. Mrs. Kutal, when was the last time you were with your father? At the wedding. And were you with him at all the next morning? No. By the time I saw him, he was already dead. Did you touch him? I could hardly look at him, let alone touch him. Now I wish I had. Did your father have a routine before he went to bed? He had a uh, cigar and a brandy and then a shower. A woman's hair was found on him. Would you be willing to supply a DNA sample? Of course. Do you know how his pillow got into your bedroom? No. No, I don't. His DNA was on the pillow from his saliva. I don't understand. It was the pillow that was used to smother him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Roya, is everything all right? I think I killed him. Mrs. Kutal, please. That is not what I said. We are looking into your father's death. You're wrong. She was devoted to him. She loved him best of all. DNA results come back? Yeah, the hair on the victim's body and the hair on the pillow both belong to Roya. I got something else. We ran our fingerprints. They're on file with immigration. Because of the caviar business? No, the kid business. Over a year ago, she and her husband filed for a foreign adoption, China. That was a long time ago, and they still don't have a kid. Let's look into it. I met with them in person several times. Once at their house to do the home study, between the phone and emails, we were in touch every week. And they went through the entire process. Start to finish. And the paperwork is daunting. You try dealing with the city of New York, the state of New York, the federal government, homeland security, and the People's Republic of China. You've really got to want it. And then what? I'm just a social worker, not a shrink. I called to say they'd been matched with a baby. I sent them a picture. An adorable little girl. You always carry your files with you? Just the active cases so I can return calls after my boys go to bed. Parents waiting for a child call 24-7. Oh, wow. <laughs> I couldn't resist this face, and I'm not even looking for another kid. They could. After looking at that picture for weeks, one day Roya calls and says, I'm sorry. And her explanation? She was vague. It didn't add up. 
especially since they already had a travel day to get the baby. I live here more than 20 years, only know how much Roya wanted child. How did Roya and Yasmin get along? You know, older daughter, younger wife. Before Yasmin, Roya and Asher would be with Mr. Soleimani hours and hours, talk and laugh, play cards. And after Yasmin came into his life? Not so much. He only had time for new women. And Roya never had any children? That is why she won this little China girl so much. So when it didn't happen? She upset a lot. Very moody all the time, can't sleep. We know that she was taking tranquilizers. Was she seeking help anywhere? I saw Roya several times a week. Then you knew she wanted to adopt? Sure. What happened? Why didn't she go through with it? Out of respect for her father. Respect? How so? Manny emigrated here four decades ago, yet carried values from the past. He did not approve of adoption. That's old-fashioned, to put it mildly. It's hard for you to understand because these are not your ways. If Roya disobeyed her father, she would have been ostracized. By the family? By the entire community. How is Asher with the adoption? Roya is first-generation American, born here. Asher was born in Iran. He would never disrespect Manny's wishes. Probably on some level, he even agreed with him about the adoption. When was the last time you saw Roya? Saturday at services, then that night at the wedding. Was she still upset about giving up the baby? And how her relationship with her father would change. She didn't want a new stepmother? One who was even younger than she? Would you? She didn't want to relinquish her place with her father, and she certainly didn't want to leave the home. She was moving out of the townhouse? At her father's request. I tried to persuade her to see it as a positive change for herself and Asher. But she didn't. She was devastated. She didn't support her brother's request for an autopsy. She's the only one with a script for the tranquilizer. The murder weapon, the pillow he was smothered with, was found in her bed. And her hair was found on his body. Suggestive, but not definitive. She just given up a child she wanted desperately, only to have her father marry a younger woman and kick her out of the house that she'd lived in all of her life after she took care of it and him since her mother's death. Jack, everything points to her. Why do you want her out of the house now? To be alone with his new young wife. Her rabbi said as much. Have the cops pick her up. Then work on getting a subpoena for the rabbi to testify as a hostile witness. Roya Soleimani Kutal, you're under arrest for the murder of Manny Soleimani. My father, what are you saying? You cannot do this. You must stop. You're making a terrible mistake. You did not kill her father. Take it easy. I did not kill him. Let me go, Asher, please. I'll call Rothenberg. Don't worry. I'm not a monster. It'd be easier for us if you were. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court of law.